hi, this is Franco Viotto and today I am uh, in uh, Dronero, close to Cuneo, on the west of Italy, in an area where there are a lot of uh, fruits. And I am uh, with uh, Sergio Olmi. Sergio is the second generation of uh, this company called Olmi that is making equipment uh, for working in the orchards. Uh, his father, Franco Olmi, started the business uh, in 1960. Sergio was just telling me this morning that uh, he started to do business uh, with France uh, uh, only six months ago and the guy in France bought already uh, 30 machines. I'm going to describe you the machine now. This is the heart of the machine. On the three point behind we are going to have uh, uh, the, a compressor uh, where we are going to accumulate uh, the air here. We have a multiplier in the back. The machine can work at 750 and 1000 RPM. We can also use a 540, but then in this case we have a lower performance and you will understand that you need a smaller head. So we have a three point hitch here. Uh, we have some air filters. Uh, and the machine basically has a low maintenance. We create the volume of air here. We, we bring the air with these hoses in the front. The operator uh, can easily uh, adjust the machine uh, with this uh, joystick. Uh, there is a little panel showing the, the operations that it can do because uh, uh, the heads uh, that we have in the front uh, can be adjusted according to the needs and uh, follow the rim of uh, the plants. We have the discs rotating and through these holes uh, the air is coming, uh, is pulsing out, it's coming at very high speed uh, so that uh, we are going to break uh, the steam of uh, the leaves so that they drop on the ground. Uh, the heads, uh, you see in this case we have uh, two heads uh, which were adapted to the use of uh, in the farm where we are, uh, but we can have uh, different configurations. Uh, the operator is basically following in and out the trees, uh, the, the plants, the leaves. And then we also have an ad additional adjustment uh, if it's necessary to tilt uh, the, the head. This particularly uh, if uh, we have uh, uh, the plants which are not perpendicular to the ground but angulated uh, like uh, it, it happened in, in some cases. The front mount uh, can be either with a three point or with a flange. Uh, in this case it's necessary to fabricate the flange is something that your dealer can do very easily. This was Franco Viotto in Dromero, Cuneo, uh, west of Italy. I am uh, with Pier Giorgio Rivoira. Uh, Pier Giorgio owns a company called Monastero. Uh, and is growing here all, all the apples that you see around. Allora Pier Giorgio, uh, tu hai comprato questa macchina da Olmi per trattare cosa? Questo è un impianto di Ambrosia e abbiamo comprato questa macchina per poter dare luce alla, alla frutta per il colore. Ok, uh, Pier Giorgio has been buying this machine of the company Olmi called Vortex. It's a machine that is blowing the air and uh, is testing this machine on uh, apples uh, type called Ambrosia. Da quanto tempo hai questa macchina? Da due mesi. It's only two months that is running this machine. Da 1 a 10, dammi un voto. 9. Uh, he's voting 9, which is fair. Yes, <laughs> it's less than 10, but it's okay. Uh, also because here we have the owner of the company, so he cannot say 10. Okay, the reason why he has been buying uh, this machine is uh, to improve uh, the color of uh, the, the fruits and to avoid uh, to put uh, uh, plastic material on the ground uh, or on the fruits, uh, which is uh, definitely not good. Everybody else is using a, a, a lining on the ground called Color Up, but this system is uh, definitely going to improve because the machine of Olmi blowing away all the leaves is going to uh, permit uh, to the sun to enter better and uh, put more light. The reason why we have all these nets here is because uh, this is an area where uh, we have hail very frequently and of course if we have a, a hail storm all the damage all the fruits will be damaged that's why uh, Pier Giorgio has been investing quite a lot of money to put all the nets.
Grazie per Giorgio e eh, ti vediamo in America. Ah,